Hello, and welcome to my channel. Hey everyone, welcome back to Andrew's Wizardly Reads, and today I have got another tag video for you. Um, today I'm going to be doing the Choose Your Own Avenger tag that was created by Johanna. Um, I recently got tagged by Walker Wright 7 over on his channel, I'll go ahead and link that down below, um, to do this adventure tag, or this Choose Your Own Adventure tag. And basically it's just kind of you go through your bookshelf, um, and I'm, I'm going to try and only use one series, and one book from each series one time. And then you kind of just go through and choose your own adventure. So uh, let's see what we come up with. Um, so starting off at number one, uh, fantasy twin, uh, that character that you identify on a personal level with. Um, for this one, I kind of had to think a little bit because I usually don't see myself in characters in books very often. Um, I tend to be a bit crotchety sometimes. Uh, very much a realistic, some, some people would say pessimistic, but uh, I, I try and say a bit positive. And for that reason, I'm going to actually go with Vasher from uh, Warbreaker. Vasher is just this old kind of crotchety guy who's going to do what needs to be done to get things, to, to basically take care of the situation. And honestly, he's just fascinating. Uh, he's probably my favorite character from the entire Warbreaker book, other than maybe, um, oh, what's that god's name? Something Song. Anyway, uh, I, I identified with Vasher more here. I'm not more of the carousing type. I'm, I'm very much a homebody. Uh, and if I get dragged out of my house, I'm, I'm rather grumpy about it. Uh, usually I just rather stay home and be curled up with a book. So uh, somebody I identify with is going to be Vasher. Moving on to number two. Uh, who is your hero? Um, for that one, I went with Dalinar um, from the Stormlight Archive. Now, I know Dalinar is a very flawed character. He's a very, uh, you know, he has a darker past, and he's very much the warrior. But what I loved about Dalinar was he, he constantly rises from the ashes and strives to be better than what he was. Uh, honestly, from the first book, you know, he's this very noble man, and you'll find out later about his past and things of that nature. But he continues to grow and become a stronger character. And he's always striving to do what's right. At least what he thinks is right in order to protect the world of Roshar. And for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and say Dalinar is my hero here. I had many other options. And nobody fit the bill quite like Dalinar did. Moving on to number three. I've got a, a, a stack of books over here and it's just wobbling back and forth. Uh, number three, choose a champion in your duel. Um, I'm actually going to go with another Sanderson pick here. Uh, I'm going to choose Vin uh, from the Mistborn trilogy. And I know Vin is... Vin is angry, but she kicks just so much butt. <laughs> what Vin accomplishes in just three books, she starts from this lowly street urchin to basically this almost deified warrior woman who just fights for what she believes in. Even if it's wrong, she is going to go in and she is going to kick somebody's butt. She is going to overcome. She is going to risk all for those she loves. And for that, I believe she would make a fantastic champion. I wouldn't fight then, and I wouldn't recommend you do it either because she will destroy you. Moving right along. So we've done the champion. Now we're at number four. Who is my most hated? And that just, that came easy to me. Um, we're going to go with Regal from the Farseer trilogy. I cannot stand Regal. He bugs me. I don't think he's that good of a villain. He is just a petulant boy child um, whose ultimate goal is to just take his brother's things and break it. That is literally his entire thing. He does not view the kingdom of the six duchies as a kingdom. He does not view the crown as uh, a job or a responsibility or a calling. It is literally just something that he can take from his brothers so that they can't have nice things. And I, I just can't stand Regal. I, I hate him. And obviously that's why he's my most hated. <laughs> Moving on to number six. 
Who is gonna be my tavern buddy? This one's easy. This one's easy, guys. It's so easy. Um, that's obviously gonna be Matt Cotham. And uh, he's got songs about him. He is just so cool. The man's imbued with luck. I mean, it's his entire superpower. He can roll the dice and it's going to come up with a winning hand. Anything that involves luck, uh, Matt's going to win. He can blindfold himself and throw a knife and it's going to hit the bullseye. Even if he wasn't aiming, he literally turn his back, chuck it over his shoulder, bam, bullseye. It's ridiculous. But that's how, that's just how his loom of fate works. And he, he likes to throw back a pint. He likes to carouse. He's a little bit... Um, too free with the women, and that's not me. So obviously, he tried to probably get me into trouble, and I'm just not all about that nonsense. I'm a happily married man. Uh, so for that reason, my tavern buddy's gonna be Matt. He, you know, he's gonna lend me luck, or at least get me out of a, a, a spot of bad trouble if I get into too much debt. He can just go in, work the tables, get some coin, pay off my debts, and then we'll go out drinking um, to celebrate. Let's see, my villain. My villain is from Red Rising uh, Trilogy, specifically Morningstar, and that's gonna be the Jackal. Who the Jackal. You, know, you didn't like him in the first book, and then you hated him at the end of the second book, and by the third book, you would think you'd learned your lesson, and he just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. He is so manipulative, so devious, and what he's willing to do to win is just mind-boggling. Basically, if you can't have it, nobody can. I'll blow up a planet if, it, if it's going to achieve me my goal. Uh, that's the kind of villain that Jackal is. He, he, he's just the epitome of evil. He was just born and bred evil. Uh, the things he does to his family, to, the, to his allies, even to people who love him is... It, it, just crazy. Uh, I don't know, like, you've got your pure evil people, but there are times where you're like, oh, maybe he can be redeemed. No, nah, he's playing you. It, it, don't don't trust the Jackal. So, he's, he's my villain, because you'll never see him coming. Even though you should. My mentor. This is an easy one, guys. I have raved. I've done a why you should read on Faithful and the Fallen, but my mentor is going to be Gar. Oh, Gar is so cool. Uh, he is the mentor who's going to basically take you under his wing and make you family. He's going to look after you like you're, he's one, like you're one of his own. He's going to make sure you're well-trained and ready for battle. He's going to make sure you're surrounded by sword brothers or shield maidens or whatever you need in order to accomplish your goal. And for that reason, I mean, he just makes a fantastic mentor. He is going to try his best to set you up for success. And really, that's all I'm... Uh, the, that's more than any me mentor could possibly hope for. So we're gonna go with Gar from Faithful and the Fallen. Don't fall. Okay, we're gonna put that on the floor for now. My best friend. This one was, usually I would have chosen like Perrin or Matt from the Wheel of Time, but I'm, I said I would do only one per series. So we're gonna go with Slow Hand from Kings of the Wild. He's kind of the... He's that friend where if you come to him with a trouble after not talking to him for 10 years, he's going to basically put down everything, go out with you to solve your problem. He's going to go on a quest, even though everything in his body is telling him, this is a bad idea. There's no way this is going to work, but I can't let you do it on your own. Uh, slow hand is, he's just a bro. He's very, he's not going to, he's not going to talk your head off. I mean, I'll, I'll talk your head off. My best friend would, all my best friends We'll just be like, will you stop talking? So he's not going to do that to you. He's going to be very quiet, short answers, but he'll lay down his life for you simply because you're bros. And what more do you want from a best friend? All right, my adopted family. Well, I couldn't think of a better adopted family than the fellowship from the Lord of the Rings. Uh, just people from all walks, all races, all different aspects of life coming together really relying on one I mean you know, there's the whole bumpy Boromir thing but I mean honestly what what family isn't complete without that you know black sheep outlier who's gonna try and wreck Thanksgiving <laughs> so for that reason I am always gonna go with 
the Fellowship from the Lord of the Rings. Uh, they would honestly lay down their lives for each other. They do on multiple occasions. And I just couldn't think of, you know, anybody but the original OGs for being that family dynamic. That said, guys, that is all of my answers for the uh, Choose Your Own Adventure tag. If you want to do this tag, I will have all the questions down in the description below. So like always, guys, like and subscribe. Link to the Discord's down below. Till next time, stay magical. Bye. <laughs>